Hey everyone, Steven here from Red Essence, and welcome back to another fragrance review. Thank you for tuning in. And in this video, I want to share with you my quick opinion on the fragrance by Christian Dior. Now this one is part of their La Collection Privé line, which is their more higher end line. And this one is called Grease Montaigne. So let's take a look at the bottle. Here it is. The perfumer for this one is uh, Francois de Machy. And this one was released in 2013. Now this is one of the more recent releases from Christian Dior, released just a couple of years ago. And Francois de Machy is the in-house perfumer for Dior. He's done a few other scents from the La Collection Privé line. He's even worked on Dior Homme along with Olivier Polge. Now this fragrance gets its name from the Dior Boutique uh, location in France, which is 30 Avenue Montaigne. And Grease is of course uh, French for grey and it resembles the um, the iconic grey color that's used in a lot of Dior creations as well as their boutique. It has a lot of that dove grey nuance in there. Now this one is classified as a floral sheep bra and let's start things off by taking a look at the presentation. So the box for this fragrance is a cylindrical container. It opens up just like this, reveals a nice little padding on the inside, foam padding uh, that the bottle rests in. Nothing going on at the inside. You have the Christian Dior logo up here at the top, and then a sticker on the front to personalize the, uh, the scent. As far as the bottle goes, I think the La Collection Privé presentation is some of the best that I've come across. You have the polar opposites on the magnet. You have the old Christian Dior logo. They changed it up with Sauvage. Uh, really nice cap, really nice bottle. Uh, you could pick this one up from the cap, although I wouldn't advise it in the future, uh, just because if you do happen to twist it, it might come apart. Grease Montaigne on the front, nothing at the bottom. The distribution on this one is actually pretty good as well. I love this presentation. And that was it for Grease Montaigne by Dior. Now this fragrance has a very interesting smell. I have to get that off out of the way right off the bat. Now this is a rather floral scent and I think it's rather accurate to the classification. Chypre is actually a French word that means cypress and this one has the green elements with a note of oak moss and you definitely get that in the backbone of the scent. It's definitely very noticeable as it pertains to this scent. It opens up with a lot of rose and it's more of a powdery rose than a floral kind of smooth rose petal kind of a rose. It's hard to describe but it definitely has a powdery vibe to my nose. Now now, it's a powdery rose and it's backed up with a really nice patchouli note. The patchouli note in this one kind of reminds me of Chanel's Coromandel. It also reminds me a little bit of patchouli imperial, uh, which is another La Collection Privé scent. So I'm given to understand, or I'm going to go as far as taking a guess that it's probably the same patchouli note that's used in each one. This one also has a note of sandalwood in the base that I guess contributes a little bit to that sweetness that you get in the background, uh, but it's not too strong of a sweetness. It's definitely no fat Delicious or Bois d'Argent or something like that. Now predominantly what you get from this one is patchouli and rose. So if you're not a fan of those two scents and if you're not a fan of powdery scents then I wouldn't recommend this one for you. Now I actually don't mind powdery smells. I do like some powdery smells like Burberry Brit uh, which is also another powdery rose and I can definitely see some connection among the two. The only thing about this scent that kind of rubs me the wrong way, which isn't a fair criticism I should say, is the fact that it smells rather feminine. And for that reason, I don't reach uh, for this one too often. Um, I know the level of the juice in my bottle is rather low. That's because I got this as a result of a split. Uh, and nonetheless, I don't really wear this one too often because I do find it to be a little bit feminine. Now, I've spoken to some people who say, I think a guy could pull this off no problem. I unfortunately would have to disagree on that. I think there are a lot of other offerings from the Dior house that are fairly unisex and they can definitely be pulled off by a guy very comfortably. This one actually, maybe it's because it reminds me of another scent by Bottega Veneta, uh, the original. I have the Eau Legere version which also bears some similarities but Anyway, I, I just think it smells a little bit too feminine. It doesn't really cater to my personal taste, but this is a scent that I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mind smelling on a woman. I would actually love to smell this on a woman. I think it's a really nice scent, a bit entrancing too, if you will. Uh, but as far as a rose-based scent goes, I would still go with a Francis Kirkjian composition, maybe Lumine Lumiere Noir, or I would go with Lyric Man, or even Udis Bahan by Dior. This one is just a little bit too feminine for me. Now, I haven't worn it too much, so I didn't get around to getting a compliment on this one, but people have commented on how strong this one is. So I would just be a little bit uh, weary with application. Do not go overboard with this one. Let's take a look at the rating. 
First up, we have uniqueness and overall smell, and I don't find this one to be too unique. Like I said, it does remind me of another scent by Bottega Veneta, the original. So for that reason, and for the price tag, it's really hard to justify the purchase of this one. I think I would rather recommend the Bottega Veneta before I would recommend this one. But if you have the money to spend, you want something that smells a little bit more natural, and you want something that gives you slightly better performance than the Bottega Veneta, I would definitely recommend you check this one out. I think it's a solid scent if you're a woman and if you don't want, uh, mind wearing scents that come off a little bit feminine. As far as longevity goes, the longevity on this one is amazing. You're going to get 10 plus hours every time. Projection is also solid. It's going to jump up and radiate off your skin for the first four to five hours, which is excellent in my books. As far as versatility goes, I think it is compromised a little bit. I would perhaps wear this one dressed up, but I wouldn't wear this one on a date and I wouldn't wear this one casually because of the price tag. I would also feel very comfortable wearing this in the fall and winter and kind of in the spring because of the rose note, but if it's a really warm day, outside I think this one would be a little bit too cloying it would be overkill as far as age range goes it does carry an air of maturity with it because of the floral uh, components of it so I would say maybe 30 and up um, but of course that's just a recommendation anybody could wear whatever they like whatever age you happen to be and as far as the presentation goes I think La Collection Privé scents have some of the best presentation from the bottle to the magnetic cap and the atomizer and the color of the juice inside and if I were to give this fragrance an overall score, I would give this one a 6 out of 10. Now, I was kind of close to giving it a 5 out of 10. The, the thing that really is compromised about this scent is that it does resemble that designer that I was talking about. And for the price tag, it's really hard to justify it. And I don't like it just because it does come off a little bit too feminine, too powdery. But I think it's a solid scent. And if you're a fan of powdery rose patchouli scents, you might actually really like this one. So there you have it. That was my review on Grease Montaigne by Dior. If you owner have tried this scent, please let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for future videos. So again, everyone, thank you for watching. This has been Stephen with another fragrance review from Red Essence. We'll see you soon.